Now, from a from an odds perspective, I do think that um, there. Look, if if the only thing that comes out of this research is that that salespeople hit the pump the brakes and hit the pause button before they assume that that hesitant customer, like every hesitant customer is a nail and I got my FOMO hammer and, and my FUD hammer is ready to go to town. If they at least hit the pause button and explore a little bit to understand, is it because you're not sold on the value? That may actually well be, and maybe your FOMO hammer is a really good hammer to bust out. But if it's not, if it's that the customer's intellectually bought in, if they're thinking like, you can stop selling me now, I'm sold. And instead they're worried about being associated with a purchase that goes sideways and doesn't pay off. That's that FOMO hammer is going to make things worse, not better. And so you need that dial down the FOMO playbook, right? Mm -hmm. um, the no playbook. So I think if, if sellers could just at least do that, I think we'd be in a, a much better place than we are today because the FUD playbook, the FOMO tactics are so pervasive and you know, customers hate it. It's just like drives them crazy. Um, and it, it feels like high pressure sales tactics. And look, I'm very, I'm very sympathetic. Sellers are in a tough spot right now because it's a tough environment out there. And so then they start leaning on these techniques even harder and it makes things even worse. So, you know, and, and Matt, one thing I I've seen recently, as you were talking about this and some sales, I think there are clues to indecision that are all over the sales cycle in yes. a lot of cases. Yeah. And a Absolutely. specific example I've heard recently in some cycles I've been involved in is, well, we're worried about adoption. 